It's Survive in Advance at the A-Sun Championship. Tonight in Dunk City, top seed FGCU and fifth seeded UNF battle for a spot in Sunday's final. And a look at the brackets, tonight's semifinals, the Ospreys or the Eagles will meet the winner of the game in Nashville between Lipscomb and Jacksonville. And Alico Arena is revved up tonight. Thrilled to be with you, Tom James, alongside J. Webb Horton. You know, J. Webb, FGCU heavy favorites tonight, yes. but Joe Dooley is not going to let this team get overconfident, especially against a club like UNF that shoots threes the way they do. Welcome aboard inside our studios at ESPN Wide World of Sports semifinal Saturday at the International Champions Cup future. These trophies within reach. Tom James alongside the legendary Tommy Smith. And Tommy, these knockout rounds, these teams leaving everything they have out on the pitch. McGovern to Parham. Parham, a nice move inside the 10. Touchdown, Stetson! He has come alive in the second half. Johnny Messina from 22 yards to give Stetson its first ever win over JU. The kick is up. It is good! The Hatters defeat the Dolphins 38-35. to Johnny Messina is the hero. Turning it over again. Here's Carlisle. Tucker to Reed. Back to Tucker. <laughs> oh. And FGCU can taste it. The Eagles reign three, and they reign supreme as the A Sun women's champions for 2018. It's such a key game. We would have probably waited this out all night because of the playoff implications for right. both of these teams. It really affects not only these two teams, but everybody else in the league. And wow. there is a quick goal from Connor Busick. Wow. And he has a hat trick. Coach Mariano was happy. 21-20, FGCU, and it's the freshman. Justine Garter to try to wrap up this match. And it's over on that first set. Carol. Oh, and they do it! Carter and Carroll have pulled off a shocker. 14 to 5, still championship point. Thomas. And that's it! The Hatters release pent up emotion. Stetson. Back to back to back. They are the A-Sun Beach Volleyball Champion. And there it is. FGCU has done it. Back on top in the A-Sun Conference. FGCU coming in 10 and 5, winners of 9 of 11. Florida Tech is 9 and 5. Your starting lineups, Majors and Daniel, can certainly light it up, averaging 22 points a game each for Florida Tech. And of course, Christian Terrell, season highs in points and rebounds last week in that game at FAU. As we're underway from Alico Arena, Eagles in the home whites, Florida Tech in the road gray uniforms. FGCU certainly very tough here at Alico Arena. 7-1 at home this season. 66-12 here since that magical 2013 season. A foul going along the baseline. Zach Johnson. Well, you see that Florida Tech is coming out right now in a zone trying to uh, create the ability to negate some of these uh, three-point shooters by the Eagles. And they throw it away on the inbounds pass. That was intended for Kevin Mickle, who is starting his fourth consecutive game for the Eagles. And Billy Mims, we had a great time talking to him before the game. Jay Webb, his 11th season at Florida Tech, been in coaching at different levels for over three decades, including some time spent 
in Europe. Great guy. Oh, outstanding guy. And uh, we'll have to make sure that we, uh, we promised him we give a shout-out to Marvin and Esther Mims up there in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, baby. As Majors knocks down the shot from the free throw line, and the Panthers with the early lead. Man, we said Monks, and Majors said, I'm going to make mom and dad happy up there. <laughs> That's right. A minute gone here in the first half in southwest Florida. And a steal. And all the way with it, Majors is fouled. So what a start for the redshirt junior from Hopkinsville, Kentucky, Jordan Majors. Offensively with that shot and then the little pickpocket here on the defensive end. Well, people are going Florida Tech. And Joe Dooley, 75 wins already in four seasons here at FGCU. And consecutive 20-win seasons as Majors misses the first free throw. And Rayshon Scott quickly into the game, replacing Mickle for FGCU. Well, Jordan Majors is an 82% free throw shooter, so surprised that he uh, missed that first one. Gets the roll on the second one, and it's a three-point lead early for the Panthers. Here's Terrell with the basketball, really having a great season for the Eagles. Nice seeing man-to-man -man defense here. Zach Johnson, the pull-up just inside the three-point line. No good, but Morant skying for the rebound and a fight for it. He comes out of there but can't close the deal. Well, this is uh, under the boards because both teams have some uh, height and length there. It's not going to be a, a night for the weak of heart. No question. The Panthers put up a lot of big numbers, averaging nearly 90 points a game. And Patrick Anderson... Drops it home, and Joe Dooley has seen enough of this in the first couple of minutes. It's six to nothing quickly in favor of Florida Tech. How about a start like this for the Panthers? Well, the Panthers, we know, can put up points. They're averaging almost, you know, 90 points a game. Yeah. So when you average 90 points a game, quick starts have been sort of the way they've been going. Well, Jay Webb, this is a team that. Didn't pull into Dunk City in the bus last night until well after 1.30 a.m. They had to play a game last night over in Boca Raton against the Lynn that was a 7.30 tip-off, a game that they uh, ultimately lost to Lynn. It went overtime. Florida Tech lost 102 to 94. They did rally from a 17-point deficit to force OT before falling. So they didn't do their morning shoot-around. Coach Mims gave him a little extra sleep time. Three-pointer from the corner, no good. And the Panthers with some early confidence here against the favored Eagles. Here's Majors. Can he do it again? It's short on the three. Well, you don't want to be short when you're a jump shooter. Get a little arc up there, a little air underneath. Demetrius Morant already a couple of rebounds. Two and a half minutes gone, first half. Zach Johnson, what a move all the way, but can't find the hoop. A good move by Zach Johnson there. And the Eagles have had a couple of good looks like that. Morant was right there at the rim a couple of times earlier. Well, see, coaches, they don't like good looks. They like good makes. Talk about the size of Florida Tech. Daniel dropping the three from the left wing, and... Who would have thunk it, Jay Webb? Nine nothing, Florida Tech, a D2 school from Melbourne. Well, they came to play. Brandon Goodwin, no good on the three, but it's tapped back outside. Florida Tech plays out of the Sunshine State Conference. Here's Goodwin. There's Rayshon Scott, no good. And they just won't fall here in the early going for FGCU. Well, and Rayshon Scott's a very, very solid outside shooter for the Eagles. Anderson all the way to the hole and draws the foul. That's going to go against Zach Johnson, FGCU's redshirt sophomore. I'm not sure if that's a shooting foul. Yes, it is. 
So Anderson goes to the free throw line and can give Florida Tech a double digit lead here on New Year's Eve. Well, the good thing for the Eagles is this is a marathon, not a sprint. This is on the first free throw. Once again, Anderson's a 87% free throw shooter. And don't sleep on uh, Patrick Anderson. He's one of these, the third guy for this Panthers team that averages in double figures nearly 14 a game. Part of this high octane Florida Tech offense. We did call them uh, the three headed monster. He makes one of two. 10 zip, Florida Tech. Underneath Morant, he catches it and up and under. And the Eagles finally on the board nearly four minutes into the game. Here's Anderson. Very talented team. J Webb, this Florida Tech program. And Anderson loses the handle. Zach Johnson, two on one break with Morant. Left his feet a little early for the dunk, but Morant yeah. right there to clean it up. Yeah, he uh, didn't get his steps down for the dunk. The Eagles may be leading the nation in missed dunks. Well, in Dunk City, they attempt a lot of them. Not all will go. Milligan with a little fade away. And the lead back up to eight for the Panthers. Milligan, though, a head shake. Like, I don't think you can guard me, buddy. Panthers feeling really good about themselves here in the early going. And a foul on the perimeter against Robert Booth. He's the only local kid from Melbourne on this Florida Tech team. We take you to our first media timeout with 15.01 left to play. First half, the Panthers, surprisingly, by eight. 